In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your first game with Toy Engine. It's going to be a tiny game that gives you an overview of how to use the different aspects of the app. And this will let you move on to other tutorials or just start experimenting with the app on your own. So when you open the app, the first screen you're going to see is this My Levels screen. And to make your first level, you can just tap New. Now we'll put in a name for the level and we'll just call this one Tiny. So this brings up the level editor screen and here's where we're going to drag and drop objects to build our level. So for our tiny level we're going to drag out a player, an enemy, and some ground. And the ground here is too small so we're going to make it bigger and we do that by double tapping the ground and then tapping resize from the menu that comes up. Now we drag this resizer tool to change the size of the ground and we'll just make it longer. And now we can drag this around to move it. So we'll move it to the bottom of the level and we'll resize it again to make it a bit bigger. And we'll put the player and the enemy on top of it. And now we can save this by tapping save and then we'll switch to the game player and actually play this level by tapping play. So now we're in the game player and we can move our player around using the arrow keys and jump using the up arrow. And we walk through the enemy but nothing happens. This is because the enemy doesn't have any behavior by default. If you want objects to have behavior in your game, you actually get to script that yourself. So we'll close this by tapping the X and then we'll work on scripting the enemy. So we're going to double tap it just like we did the ground node. And instead of picking resize for the enemy, we're going to pick script. And this brings up the script editor for the enemy. So this lets us define the behavior, um, which is what the enemy is going to do when we play our game. So the first thing we want to look at are events. And events are things that occur in your game that you want this object to respond to. So for our enemy, we want him to do something when the game starts. So we'll drag out the game starts event. We also want him to do something when we contact the side of him. So we'll drag out contact side and also the same for contact top. Now we need to actually do something when these events occur. So for that we're going to need event functions. So we'll open up the event functions and we'll start with the contact side. When that happens we want a game over to occur. So we'll drag out game over and then to trigger that during contact side we just wire contact side to game over by dragging from the, uh, the arrow. And for contact top, uh, we want the enemy to be removed from the game, so we'll drag out the remove event function. And we'll wire it the same way. And then for the game starts event, we want the enemy to start walking and patrolling back and forth when the game starts. So we'll add a walk left and a walk right event function. Now we'll move this up so we have more room. And so when the game starts, we want the enemy to start by walking left. When he's done walking left, we want him to start walking right. And when he's done walking right, we want him to go back to walking left. And we need to set how long these walkings occur for. So we'll need to use a value. So we'll open up the values scripts and we'll use a number to set the duration. And we'll make it 1.2 seconds. And we'll wire this to the duration of both walk left and walk right because we want them to be the same so that he just patrols back and forth. Now we'll save this script and close it. And now we'll save our level again and play. And now our enemy walks back and forth. When we run into him, we get a game over. And when we jump on top of him, we remove him from the game. So now our enemy has a bunch of scripted behavior that he doesn't have by default. So we'll close this and we'll save our level and go back to the My Level screen. So now we're able to share this level. If we want to let other people play it, we tap these three dots and then tap share. And this uploads it to iCloud where it can be viewed by other people who have the app. So to see it, we'll go to browse. And this is loading all the levels that have been uploaded uh, from the app. 
And now we'll sort by date so that we can see our level. And now you see that the tiny level we created is the most recent level uploaded. And it's accessible to anyone who's browsing levels in the app. And we can download it by tapping these dots and download. And then we're able to play it from our download screen. So that's just an overview of the Toy Engine app. I hope that this gives you the base to go on to other tutorials or to just start playing around with the app and making games of your own.